Are you ready? Yeah. Timekeeper, are you ready? You have four minutes. Please begin your speech now. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson and judges. My name is Keishi Nakada. I'm, I will start up, up a constructive speech. With the affirmative side, I strongly believe that Japan should abolish capital punishment. We have two advantages. Advantage one, we will be able to save life of people who will suffer from forced charges. Present situation one. In Japan, there have been four falsely accused cases in which criminals turn out to be innocent. Two. Also, forced charges actually caused by the mistake of initial investigation. Yomi Newspaper 2006. Quote. Akita Prefectural Police officially admitted that there was a mistake in the process of initial investigation. Kinobuchi, the head of the search section, reported that they should have examined more carefully. Unquote. Three. Police obtained an arrest warrant against a, a sorry wrong person based on the wrong DNA investigation because of human error. Yomi Newspaper 2010. Quote. Kanaga Prefectural Police obtained an arrest warrant against an unrelated person because they registered wrong DNA sample on the database. Unquote. From this evidence, we cannot deny the possibility of falsely accused cases. Effect 1. After plan action, we will be able to save the life of people who are suffering from false accusation. 2. There are actual executed cases, though there is a possibility they are innocent. Minded Newspaper 2007. Quote, in the case of Ashikaga, a man was charged falsely because of less accurate DNA investigation system. One prisoner concerning the Izuka case was executed. People are paying attention to the Izuka case in which the same DNA, DNA investigation was done, and the criminal was already executed. Unquote. Also, sorry, also, there are another two similar cases that they were already executed, although they have potential to be innocent. Three. Also, government admitted the possibility of false, false accusation in Japan. The fourth article of criminal compensation code, if the innocent people are executed, victims and family will be able to receive the payment of compensation from the government. Also, the maximum amount of payment is 30 million yen, unquote. Importance. In the process of investigation, we cannot deny the possibility of false accusation. Unless judging is 100% correct, nation has no right to impose a capital punishment. Advantage two. Many innocent people will not be involved in random killing. Present situation one. There are many criminals who have a desire to be executed. Here is a proof. Asahi newspaper 2008, quote, the criminals of the Tsuchiura, Ikeda, Ube, Shinjuku, Kanazawa, Kawasaki, Hiroshima, and Kagoshima case confessed that he killed many people, they would be executed, unquote. In this case, capital punishment doesn't have any deterring power to those who have a strong desire to be executed. <coughs> Once random killing occurs, it leads to mass killing, so the number of victims will be large. Here's the proof. Osaka University 2001, quote, In the case of Ikita Elementary School, a man killed eight children and wounded 18 children and teachers with a knife. So 23 people were involved in this case, unquote. Effect 1. After plan adoption, we will be able to eliminate the motivation of random killer. So the, non so the number of victims in mass random killing will not increase any longer. Two. Also, the number of random killing will increase because there are many potential criminals. Here's proof. Energy 2008, quote. According to a statistic by police agent in Japan, the number of suicides was 32,552 in 2008. Sorry, sorry, in 2005. This means that there are 90 suicides a day. Also, the number of failed suicide attempts is more than 900 a day, unquote. From this evidence, it is clear that more than 900 people think about killing themselves a day. So it is not surprising that some of them have a desire to be executed. Importance. Random killers who want to be executed will kill and injure as many people as possible. So this is the best way not to involve in innocent people such cruel cases. Thank you for listening. You have three minutes. Please begin your speech now. Hello, I'm Kimika Fujisawa. I'd like to start my question. Um, about your first point, you said that four death row inmates were found innocent before the execution, right? Yes, yeah, four forced actors case. Okay, um, and how many people have been executed in misjudgment in Japan? So sorry, one more, one more please. How many people have been executed in misjudgment in Japan? So I, I said, I said it is a case under under the two similar cases. Oh, um, do those cases have a positive proof of misjudgment? So, so, 
Yeah, very, very high possibility is your answer. But you don't have a positive proof, right? So okay, I, um, can I go to the next question? Okay. About your second advantage, you talked about killing for suicide, right? Yeah, random killing. Okay, um, how many cases of killing for suicide are there in Japan now? How many suicide cases? How many cases of killing for suicide are there in Japan okay, now? Okay, I, I said eight cases and recently two, two cases happened. Um, can you prove that those cases were committed because for suicide? Okay, for example, in Ikeda case, he couldn't commit suicide by himself, so he commits mass killing. Keep on that, sorry, nine, 900, 900 people are in the same situation as those random killers. Okay, um, can you give me an expert opinion or scientific evidence about that? So, suicide case. About the... So can you... Uh, do any experts say that the killing force, uh, killing force suicide is uh, happened? Uh, so, so 1,900 people think about killing themselves a day. So, okay. So, no but that's that not only uh, that's only your opinion, right? No, no energy, energy. Okay. Um. Yeah, um, can you tell me the evidence again about the killing for suicide? So uh, just like an advantage. So and we, which so so in you get a case. So we we, we do it. No, about the NGO. Oh okay. According to the statistic by by police agent in Japan, the number of suicide was thirty two thousand five hundred fifty two in two thousand five. Okay, um that the number is about the suicide, right? Not for yeah, the yeah. killing for suicide. So do you have the number for do you have the number of the killing for suicide? So sorry, two thousand five hundred fifty-two in the, the number is suicide case. So so I, I said for example you get a case he couldn't commit suicide by saying himself, so Okay, thank so you. Um, you talked about the uh, in your present situation of your first point. You talked about investigations, right? right. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Are you ready? Yes. Timekeeper, are you ready? Yes. You have four minutes. Please begin your speech now. Thank you, Chairperson. My name is Go Nanzaki. We are on the negative side of both the proposition that Japan should abolish capital punishment. This advantage one. Which we do soon. Which we do soon. Present situation. The death penalty is not the denial of human dignity because it is carefully applied only to the worst of the worst, such as mass murder or torture killing. Just to think of Asahara Shoko, who killed 13 people in the Salin attack on a Tokyo subway in 1995, or Ikeda Hiroyuki, who cut off the head of the victim with an electric saw while the man was still alive. Ikeda's case was the first death penalty handed to die by lay judges, who claimed, quote, the physical suffering of the victim was beyond imagination. Unquote. What punishment do such criminals deserve? Death. Professor Robert Brecker of New York Law School claimed, quote, the punishment must be painful in proportion to the crime. It would be unfair that those who have committed this horrible crime stay alive. Unquote. This retributive justice is supported by a majority of Japanese. For example, Suzuki Aiko, whose only son was beaten to death by three miners on the, on, on the street claims, quote, hanging is too light a punishment. I want the murderers to be punished in the same brutal way as my son was killed, unquote. Capital punishment can prevent possible violent retaliation by some of the victim's families. Effect, if they are crimes adapted, the, the state cannot give the worst of the worst the punishment they deserve in our system of law. As a result, the balance between crime and its punishment is broken. Importance. This is advantage is very serious because public trust in criminal justice will diminish. Takeyoshi Hongo, former trial manager of the Supreme Public Prosecutor's Office, claimed, quote, <coughs> The public trust in criminal justice will dramatically diminish unless the balance between crime and its punishment is maintained. Unquote. This advantage too. Repeat offenses. Repeat offenses. Present situation. Capital punishment is the ultimate form of incapacitation. 
capital execution of a murderer guarantees that he will not kill again. According to White Paper on Crime 2010, 3.7% of the all murderers arrested from 1999 to 2008 had committed murder before. 7.7% of the criminals arrested by the charge of bodily injury resulting in death had committed the same crime. The figure looks small, but these people can be a great threat to society. One example is a 16-year-old boy who killed his mother with a metal base belt, but he was, uh, he, was he was returned to society in 2004 because he was a minor and considered he would be rehabilitated, but the decision was wrong. He again killed two sisters in Osaka in 2005. Capital punishment eliminates such criminals completely out of society by taking their life. Effect. If their crime is adapted, the highest punishment will be life imprisonment with possibility of parole. By law, criminals can get out after 10 years of, 10 years of imprisonment. These evil criminals may come back to society very soon to repeat the same heinous, same, same heinous crime and create more victims. Importance. This disadvantage is very serious because it is a matter of life. Takayuki Shiba, professor of criminal law at Chuo University Law School, claimed, quote, if you, if you cannot execute a criminal, no matter how many people he killed, you make too light of the victim's lives, which could have been saved with his execution, unquote. If capital punishment is abolished, two disadvantages will occur. For these reasons, we begin to oppose. Thank you. Time. Thank you, Speaker. Are you ready? Yes. You have three minutes. Please begin now. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson and judges. My name is Kyoko Nomura. Let me ask some questions. Yes. So first, from your disadvantage one. And disadvantage one, you said that capital punishment is painful for murderers. So, Capital punishment is proper. Oh, I said, yeah. I said capital punishment must be painful in proportion to the crime. Ah, okay. So, if the, if uh, because capital punishment is painful, yes. it's proper. You mean? Yes. Okay. Thank you. And okay. So, please give me the definition of a proper. Pardon? Please give me a definition of a proper. Definition. What do you mean by proper? A uh, proper. Okay. Uh, it means, uh, uh, for example, Asahara Shoko who killed 13 people in the sign attack, Mitatsu Yamato killed two, two people, which murders should deserve he heavier punishment, uh, of uh, course. Uh, okay, okay, thank you. So, you mean, because capital punishment is painful, it is proper? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, um, murders, um, murders deserve um, in, in proportion to the crime. Uh, uh, um, 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 murders uh, deserve uh, okay, the punishment. Uh, Okay, thank you. Thank you. So, on your impact, what happens if the public trust bro broke down? Okay, uh, I, I will explain. Uh, and because, uh, because as, as Takeo Chong, former trial manager of separate public prosecutor of claims, quote, the public trust in criminal justice will dramatically diminish and the people will not help the police or uh, pro prosecutor's office in their investigation, unquote. Do you have any... Uh, I said uh, about. Uh, okay, okay, thank you. Let's move on to disadvantage two. Okay. And disadvantage two, uh, you talked about, uh, sorry, uh, second offense. Yes. Okay. Um, can you repeat the number? How many people are paroled? Uh, sorry. Uh, how many people committed crime again? Okay. Um, according to White Paper on Crime, 2010, 3.7% of the all murders arrested from 1999 to 2008 had committed murder before. This means. Um, and 462 people are again committed. Uh, so please give me the number of who did the second offense in life imprisonment. I'm pardon? Uh, do you have any number that in the, the second, second offense of life imprisonment prisoners? Oh, right. Uh, okay. Last year, uh, two people were, uh, two people were paroled and, uh, in, uh, and two people uh, are, two people were, uh, so did those two people committed crime again? Um, and two people uh, committed murder before. Yeah. Uh, so, so do you have any uh, rate or rate that shows how many people commit 
committed crime? The, 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 uh, I'm sorry. How many? Please show me how many people committed the second offense after life imprisonment. Thank you. Thank you, speakers. Are you ready? Yes. You have two minutes. Please begin your speech now. Hello, my name is Takuma Sakaki. I direct this that my attack speech. Uh, about their first point, uh, I have three attacks. Uh, one, in present situation, they talked about four cases of misjudgment. However, this really means that Japan's judicial system works properly because, after all, their innocence was proven in the trial and justice was done, right? And two, in effect, they said innocent people won't be executed. But the prob probability is very low because the number of death row inmates from 1946 to 2010 is 786, while the number of misjudgment is 4. The percentage of misjudgment is 0 0.7. 3. In importance, the need for reform cannot be a reason to abolish the death penalty. Any judicial system has flaws. A professor Robert Brecker claims, quote, no system of justice is perfect and some error will be built in. You recognize systematically that you must take a certain risk for the sake of justice. Unquote. Um, next, about the second advantage. We have three attacks. Well, in present situation, they said about crimes for suicide. Dr. Ono Seichiro, Professor Emeritus of Tokyo University, says, quote, humans are eager for life instinctively. Unquote. Therefore, the criminals they presented in advantage to are mentally sick, and the affirmative case is very exceptional. Two, in effect, these mentally disordered criminals may commit suicide soon anyway with or without capital punishment. We have a famous example of crimes for suicide. In 1999, in Columbine High School in Colorado, Eric Harris and Dylan Kurebolt shot 12 students and one teacher because they were bullied. They packed the students in the library and killed them for 45 minutes. Do you know what happened in the end? Our and they really committed suicide. Our point is that those crazy criminals will kill themselves regardless of capital punishment. Three, in addition, they failed to show any scientific, scientific evidence about the killing for suicide. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Speaker. You have two minutes. Please begin your questions now. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson and judges. My name is Kazuki Let me ask some questions. First, as for 81, you said that today's system is working well, right? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. So, uh, and uh, yeah, also, uh, you said that like 0 0.7 percent, the uh, uh, misjudge is just 0 0.7 uh, uh, percent. I said the percentage of uh, 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 the mean, mm -hmm. um, the number of death row inmates from 1946 to 2010 is 786, while the number of misjudgment is four. We and the number of death row inmates divided by the number of misjudgment. Okay, uh, so uh, so there was actually uh, there was actually a uh, mistake in this rule, right? Um, it means that sorry, you we said we can we can deny the deny the we can deny the uh -huh. uh, mistake. Yes. Oh, okay, so and uh, you said the third point. You said that uh, what did what did you, uh, what did you say for, from your from your, uh, what do you want to say? Okay, um, I said uh, you recognize systematically that you must take a certain risk for the sake of justice, and this means any judicial system has essentially possibility of mistakes, but it is natural to sacrifice one or two citizens for the sake of Japan's judicial stability. Uh, what do you mean? Um, I can understand. Um, I can um, understand. Um, no system of justice is perfect, and some error will be built in. And you recognize, I'm um, sorry. Okay, um. thank you. And let's move to the 82. You said that uh, Professor say, said the random killers had, uh, was mentally safe, right? Huh? Um, no, I didn't say about it. Uh, I said, um, and Dr. Ono Seijiro said, humans are eager for life instinctively. Only that. Uh, what do you mean? Okay. Thank you, speakers. 
Thank you, Mr. Chairperson and judges. My name is Kurt Noji. Uh, uh, I'll uh, talk about your day, day two. Uh, in today's conditions, the prisoners have no hope of parole. Uh, Yomiri Shimbu, 2008, quote, average time of being in jail is more than 30 years. Also, 24 prisoners who are sentenced to life imprisonment have been, have been in jail for more than 40 years, unquote. Also, I have another data. Uh, Yamamoto Kenji, 2009, quote, since the revision of criminal law, Ministry of Justice has been very strict with condition of giving parole. This means that 1,700 prisoners who are in jail for life imprisonment will not have any hope of parole, unquote. This means that uh, there will be no repeat crime because they don't have any hope of parole, uh, any hope of parole now. And no proof was given. Uh, we couldn't know the rate of uh, second offense by prisoners in life imprisonment. Please check this point. And I will talk about your D1. Uh, you said as a hard case. However, uh, the, group of, the group on behalf of victims said that 12, crim 12, 12, 12 criminals of own cases uh, should not be excluded. It means victim families of own cases uh, don't want the criminals to be excluded. Please check this point. And, Second, the, criminal, uh, the criteria of the judgment are changeable by each person. 2011 Court. Nagoya high, high Court sentenced to life imprisonment to a man whose sentence, uh, whose sentence was capital punishment in the first trial. The court rejected the appeal, appeal of, the, of a man whose sentence was life imprisonment and didn't change the uh, capital punishment of another man. Unquote. This means we cannot say capital punishment is sunly proper punishment. Please check this point. That's all. Thank you. Right. Thank you, speaker. My name is Sayaka Nakayama. I'd like to start a question. About your first <coughs> attack, uh, criminals, criminals don't have... Uh, don't, don't have hope of parole, right? Yeah. Uh, about your second attack, uh, this means lifers can lifers can rehabilitate. Uh, cannot. Uh, sorry, please repeat your second attack. Uh, second, uh, it's no no proof was given. Uh, we couldn't know the rate of uh, second offense by the prisoners in life imprisonment. Thank you. Uh, about your second uh, about your fourth attack. Uh, that means life imprisonment can replace a death penalty life. Right? Actually, one more, please. Uh, life imprisonment is more effective. Uh, 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 I, I said the criteria of judgment are changeable by each person. So, uh, we cannot say capital punishment is sunly proper punishment. Okay. Uh, Please repeat the evidence of Nagoya High Court. Uh, yeah. Nagoya High Court sentenced life imprisonment to a man whose sentence was capital punishment in the, in the first trial. Uh, the court rejected the appeal of a man uh, whose sentence was life imprisonment and didn't change the capital punishment of another man. Unquote. Thank you. Uh, about their second attack, uh, this means life Life how about, how about second? Second. Uh, sorry, next question. Uh, please summarize your third attack. Oh, I said, uh, I said the group on behalf of victims uh, say that right. their criminals of all cases should not be executed. Thank you. Thank you, speakers. You have two minutes. Please begin your speech now. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson and judges. My name is Kazuki Oyobe, and I will start my free speech. First, as for uh, AD1, uh, they admit the four false four FZ cases which turn out to be innocent. They are almost died, and the false stress generally is not revealed. And also, uh, this is the rate of uh, Rate to force stretch in death imprisonment, uh, death row. However, it is irrelevant. The rate is not proved to no force stretch. And also, uh, 
they said the system of justice. However, it is no proof. And so let's focus on the actual case that there was uh, actual cases that though there's a possibility they were innocent. In Izuka case and the Fukuoka and the Fujimoto case, they actually be executed. So even if there's a possibility of innocence, prisoners are executed. This is the problem of Japanese system. And uh, we, uh, they, they didn't attack the possibility of forces. The, uh, uh, as our constructive speaker said, initial investigation and human, because of the initial investigation, mistake in initial investigation and the human error, we can't deny the possibility of forces. And also, uh, 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 presentation three, uh, sorry, uh, effect three, the existence of the law of compensation indicates government hasn't confident to the possibility of longer execution in Japan. Please put this point. So let's move on to the 82. Uh, first, random killers had a desire to be executed in Japan. They didn't have uh, actual data, actual data. The, the criminals of the street like Kira Ube Shinjuku, Kanazawa, Kawasaki, Kiyoshima, and Kagoshima case confessed that if he, he killed many people, they would be executed. This fact is not changed. Uh, and, uh, so their argument of eager for life is irrelevant. And also, they say the Corel case, but that is random killing. However, we are not talking about that random killing. We are talking about random killing caused by desire, caused by, uh, caused by criminals who have a desire to be executed. So once it happens, it leads to mass killing. Nice. So, the, uh, so it is very serious. Thank you. Thank you, speaker. My name is... My name is Saika Nakayama. I'd like to start defense pitch. They attack our first point by saying, some family don't want to get a punishment. However, that is relevant. What we say in our constructive pitch is retributive justice. It's a balance between crime and its punishment. Even though some family don't want to get a punishment, the state must carry out retributive justice because this is, this is what people want. They attack our second point by saying, life has spent long in prison to get power, but that is not true. According to White Paper, uh, uh, sorry, according to my newspaper 2011, November 3, the number of lifers who are released on power is nine. Two lifers out of them is second power because they committed crimes again. Moreover, 14 years from 2001 to 2010, 83 lifers are released on power. In addition, the evidence, uh, the evidence they show about Nagoya High Court is completely dubious because the uh, affirmative didn't consider the situation of the murder or the principal offender. As we said in the constructive speech, it's retributive justice, balance crime and its punishment, and the only crime and its punishment. Also, the fact is that murderers get up prison and repeat the murder again, so they are supposed to rehabilitate. it. Shiba Takayuki claims, quote, repeat offense sweets in the best of a survival of all mankind, unquote. When the affirmative says the human rights are important, actually, they bear the murderer's human rights of her about the victim's human rights, unquote. Sorry. Die. Thank you, speaker. Now you have two minutes. Are you ready? Yes. You have three minutes. Please begin your speech now. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson and judges. My name is Kyoko Nomura. Let me start my summary speech. So first, I'm going to make the summary of both affirmative side and negative side, and then I'll compare both of them. So first, from advantage one. We mentioned that saving life of innocent people who are suffering from forced charge <coughs> is important. I'll explain why forced charge happened. Because there's a mistake in initial investigation, and also about the human error. So why don't we focus on the three actual cases that the uh, innocent um, that they, that they have high possibility of that they are innocent. And also, government admit that there's a possibility of forced charge in Japan. So let's move on to advantage two. In advantage two, we can prevent random killings. Please look at actual date. 
they had actually committed the crime. And it was also led to mass killings. So after plan adoption, what is clear is that we can eliminate the motivation of those random killers. So let's move on to disadvantage. In disadvantage one, they said capital punishment is proper punishment, and that's justice. But please remember, about all the case, we show that victims' families don't want them to be executed. And, so, and also, we show that the criteria is changeable. So we cannot say proper, uh, capital punishment is the only proper punishment um, in every situation. And they said that about effect. But why does it connect to our lives? We are not sure about that. In disadvantage two, they said second offense. But as we show, there is no hope for parole now. And, and, so, and there, we are not sure whether life imprisonment prisoners will commit second offense again. So, so please remember that there is no hope for parole now. So let me compare both impacts. So I'll compare advantages and disadvantages too. So my question is, in which way can we surely save the life of innocent people? So in advantage one, if there's no capital punishment, there's no possibility of killing innocent people. And advantage two, if there's no capital punishment, there's no possibility of, of random killings, those who have a desire to be executed. Both links stood clear. And in disadvantage two, they said life imprisonment has no hope. Of, uh, so we show that life imprisonment has no hope of parole, there, which means there's no possibility of second offense. So their link is not clear at all. So let me compare advantages and disadvantage. Disadvantage one. So my question, why should we go for the proper punishment, which is unclear and not always right? So we, I can conclude that our advantage has more significant impact. Because it is an issue about our lives, whether our lives will be deprived or not. So we can say that advantages has more strong impact because it's issue of our lives. So please vote for affirmative side. Thank you. Thank you, speaker. Hello, I'm Kimika Fujisawa. I'd like to make my summary speech. Their first point was false charges, but we attacked it by saying four cases of misjudgment really mean that Japan's judicial system works properly and the percentage of misjudgment is 0 0.7. In addition, we attacked it by saying, according to Professor Robert Blecker, we recognize systematically that you must take a certain risk for the sake of justice. We used a professor opinion, so their defense is wrong. And the effect of this attack is very big. Also, the mistaken release of guilty murderers should be of far greater concern than the very rare risk of misjudgment. And their second point was killing for suicide, but we attacked it by saying the criminals they presented in advantage to are mentally ill because, human are, because people are eager for lives instinctively. In addition, those crazy criminals will kill themselves regardless of capital punishment, so their second point does not stand. In addition, uh, and the evidence of NGO only shows the number of suicides. The only thing they showed about this, their second point, was just one example of a kid elementary school. How can you, how can you believe their dubious claim? Their advantage too does not stand. Next, let's move on to our constructive speech. They attacked our first point by saying, some victims' family don't want capital punishment. But we defended it by saying, it is a balance between crime and its punishment. So the victims, uh, so the attack of so the attack of the victim's families are totally irrelevant. So our first point still stands. They attacked our second point by saying, lifers spend long, long time in prison to get, mm? they attacked our second point by saying, lifers cannot get parole. But we defended it by saying, last year the number of lifers who were released on parole is nine. So our second point still stands. Next, let's compare the importance of our points and their points. As we said in our importance of our first point, society is entitled to take the life of those who have shown no respect for others' lives. We hear the tortured voices of the victims crying out for retributive justice. That is a balance between crime and punishment, and they fail to attack this point. And if, our, uh, if their plan is adopted, the public trust in criminal justice will diminish because the state cannot give the worst of the worst criminals the death penalty. And they fail to attack this point too. Uh, on the other hand, they talked about killing for suicides, but we attacked it. Uh, but, but as we said in our attack, their claim is very dubious because they only use uh, dubious evidence. And uh, as we said in our importance of our second point, the victims of second offenses are slighted from their viewpoint. They talked about 
the the life's uh, importance in the summary, but uh, they talked about life's importance, but they didn't consider the the victims of second offenses. Now let's let's compare the probability of error points and their points. As I as we said, only 0.7 percent is the probability of misjudgment. So their point is totally uh, does not stand at all. We should keep status quo. Please vote for the right. negative. Thank you. Thank you, Speaker. The debate is now over. But you need to, the winning team needs to move immediately to the, uh, the final room. And looking at the four issues, advantage one, innocent people will be killed. All judges conceded that that was the strongest argument in the debate. Advantage one was definitely the strongest argument because, uh, to a certain extent, the negative team actually presented arguments and cases that supported the opposition. You said several times that um, uh, that uh, there is a possibility, that, that the justice system allows for the possibility that people, innocent people will be killed, which is basically explaining their point. And all five judges uh, accepted that that was the strongest argument of the, the debate. However, advantage two was the weakest argument of the debate. And uh, although some judges believe that it existed somewhat, some judges believe that you effectively took out the solvency or the link of that point with the Columbine data. Now, the reason why you didn't take it out perfectly, you didn't attack it perfectly, is your card's not perfect for that. You need a suicide by cop card. And I would recommend a team to never use your advantage to in a debate. It is too dangerous. Because if they prepare a suicide by cop card, for example, in Australia, New Zealand, they do not have capital punishment, and yet killers attack innocent people so that the police will kill them. That's exactly the same situation that you're describing. Their card's not perfect to attack that, but they did do a good job of weakening it considerably. So the issue comes down to the disadvantage one and disadvantage two. Disadvantage two, we have two teams presenting data and we can't make a decision. Because all you've done is shown data, 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 data. And we can't separate the two. The key point for all judges was disadvantage one. Some judges said that the solvency was not explained, right? Some judges said that the solvency was explained and that we could understand that there were victims' uh, pain that was, that was suffering and not being dealt with and that was important. All judges agreed that the impact was explained and it wasn't attacked by the opposition. In a very, very difficult decision for all of the judges, three judges believed that disadvantage one was strong and two judges believed that it had been damaged enough. Therefore, the decision is for the negative team and we need you to go immediately to the, the final. But first of all, everyone, please uh, congratulate all eight participants. They did a really, really good job. Everyone.